Hello my loves, welcome to the Bookish Misses. My name is Parmata and I make book related videos. Don't forget to check out my Instagram account where I post a lot of things that you don't get to see here. Today I'm going to be reviewing another Dan Brown novel. This is going to be the fourth novel by Dan Brown that I've read so far. I started reading this particular novel when I was traveling on my way to meet my parents and parents-in-law in my hometown and I read a little bit in the airport and in my flight but then once I landed in my hometown I could not do much of reading because obviously you're meeting your family members after a long time you don't get a lot of quiet moments where you can read so i took a break from reading making videos and being on instagram basically i took a break from everything that i usually do so i got two weeks break of not having to cook every day and it was probably the best part of my whole visit i picked up this novel again while i was returning from my hometown and i managed to read 100 plus pages while i was in the flight and once i landed i had committed it to myself that i'm going to finish this book no matter what yes i did finish it and now i'm going to talk about it before the story evaporates from my head because that is happening a lot these days i probably don't remember stories of half the books that i read this year but anyways my memory is fresh and i am going to talk more about this book the book in question is reception point by dan brown as i said earlier this is the fourth novel by mr brown that i have read so far the first book that i read by him was the da vinci code and i truly loved that novel and Till date, it is one of my most favorite thrillers. And then I ended up reading Angels and Demons, which I did not enjoy as much because Da Vinci Code had set the bar so high that for any other book to reach that mark, they would have to be more than amazing. The third book that I read by him was The Lost Symbol. And in all of these three stories, the common element was that it revolved around the character Robert Langdon. But this particular series revolves around a fresh set of characters. Two of the central characters in the story are Michael Tolland, who is an oceanographer, and Rachel Saxton, who is an intelligence officer in the White House. So you can guess that whatever even that's going to happen in this book is going to be of a very national or international importance. Rachel Saxton is summoned by the president of the US to go and see this particular site in the Arctic Circle where a new discovery has been made and she's supposed to authenticate the discovery. People are losing their faith and hope in NASA and this particular discovery is supposed to reignite people's love for NASA and re-establish NASA's importance in the international standpoint. However, when Rachel goes to the site, she discovers some troubling truth about the claims that the scientists are making about this particular discovery and since this is a spoiler free review i am not going to go into details of what this discovery was but you can expect a lot of intrigue and revelations that if it happened in reality is going to break governments and cause a lot of rife now of course since important people are involved there is going to be this big chase and people dying here and there and there is going to be political intrigue as well so all the usual things that you find in a big big thriller is present in this novel now coming to the second important character michael toland he is called in to authenticate the discovery since he has a lot of idea he is a sort of a researcher oceanographer and he can make identifications and validate the discovery of the nasa scientists but both of these characters rachel and michael later on find out discrepancies in the researchers their discovery puts them under great 
threat, when their life is threatened, they're on the run and trying to bring in the truth in a manner that would not get them killed. The story is a bit slow in the start, which is the norm for any Dan Brown novel. But once you get into it, the speed picks up and after one revelation to the other, things get interesting. I especially love the chase part when these main characters were trying to save their lives, meanwhile doing the good thing for the greater good of the world. The USP of all the brown novels that I've read so far is the attention given to the details. I love the world that he creates. After reading this novel or while you're reading this novel, you feel intelligent and you feel that the author is so intelligent. He has so much knowledge because a book like this cannot be written under them unless the author has done tons of research and he has some idea about sciences. I can imagine this book being made into a movie. After I'd finished reading this novel, I was satisfied with the conclusion. Most of the times I could predict what was going to happen and it did happen, but there were a couple of twists that I did not see coming, especially the antagonist. The author has twisted the narration in a way that it'll be hard for you to guess who the actual culprit is. One of my pieces is actually with the antagonist and the reason why they did what they did. It did not make much of a sense to me. Despite this novel having a few strong women characters, they sort of ended up filling the bill that you usually see in most thriller novels where these women are powerful, they're intelligent, but they end up needing the help of the protagonist. And that is a little bit of peeve of mine that I always have in thriller novels. The women characters end up being either useless or not using their brain to the best of their potential, despite having huge qualifications and sometimes being overqualified than the male protagonist or the male central character. I did enjoy the importance given to the female characters. They did come out to be useful and not just a plot device. So I thank the author for doing that. Although I would not mind if he improvises and gives even more important piece to women in his stories because truly I enjoy Brown's writing and his attention to details. The world building in this book is very real. It made me imagine a movie scene. As I've said before, this book will make a great movie and I hope that it happens because I'm definitely going to watch it. All in all, I did quite like this novel. In fact, if I were to compare this one with The Lost Symbol, I would prefer this novel better. Another new thing that is in this book is most of the time brown novels have religious undertones, but this one was not spiritual in that sense and it was more science-based. I did quite like that bit of change and I finished it within the same month and in just a few sittings. If you have been a fan of Dan Brown or if you enjoy thrillers that have that potential to be made into movies or those big high stake thrillers and women and men in STEM, science, technology, engineering and medicine field, then definitely, definitely give this book a try. Although if you do end up skipping it, I don't think you are going to miss out on much. I also read a few reviews in Goodreads where the readers have noted that Dan Brown's novels are formulaic. They always fit into this formula of this white male protagonist and a beautiful, gorgeous female character who has some degree or specialty on in this big secret and things like that and i do agree to some extent i do look forward to the time where we would have thrillers where women play bigger roles and where minority characters are given more space and they are not just disposable 
characters or plot devices which is the case in this novel and also in a lot of other thrillers as well all in all an okay read that is all for my spoiler free book review of the deception point by dan brown let me know in the comments below if you've read this particular novel and your thoughts on it or if by watching this video you are intrigued into picking this book in the future i do love myself a great thriller so if you have recommendations for me don't forget to leave them in the comments don't forget to like this video and yes do subscribe to my channel it keeps me encouraged and motivates me into making more videos and also if there are any other book videos that you would like me to make or a book that you would like me to read and review always leave them all in the comments below i read all the comments and reply to all of them so far as it's not hateful or or something like that that is it for this video take care and i will see you all in my next one stay safe Ciao!